So there were two, three people who know about chess boxing. Very good. There are fights coming up on Friday. I will jump in the ring myself. It's my comeback. It will be my sixth fight. But basically, my talk is about how to get your company funded if you don't produce any technology or code. So what do we actually produce? We produce a combination of the number one thinking sport with the number one fighting sport. We've, so we are creating a sport that basically combines Gary Kasparov with Mike Tyson. So how does it work? So let's see, where is the computer? There it is. So it's alternating rounds. Six rounds of chess alternate with five rounds of boxing. So we start with three minutes of chess, then we box for th uh, three minutes, then we go back to the chessboard, continue the same game, and you ultimately win by checkmate or knockout. Now that sign sounds kind of silly, but it's actually really thrilling to see. And so three minutes of boxing. And the beauty of the sport is basically when they go sit after a boxing round, concentrate, focus, and they have to perform well. It's a lot about control of testosterone and adrenaline. A lot of women actually really like to watch these fights. <laughs> so upon this, we came with a claim, you know, I'm a marketing guy, so we're creating the smartest, toughest man on the planet. Then we thought, okay, you know, like, uh, it spread a little bit to Bulgaria, and it went to India, and it started a small movement, and then there was a guy from McKinsey who came into my club and said, Ipa, shouldn't we look into this as a business case? I said, yeah, 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 why not? It was one of the projects that I did, and uh, we actually found out that, that the market is kind of big. This, uh, the global sports market is a huge market. There's a benchmark case, the UFK, UFC, which has a 3.5 billion market uh, company valuation. So we started to create a company called Chessboxing Global. The whole business plan was ready. Actually, I had three pages, and Eric Walfors took me to, uh, uh, to the China Club to meet these guys from Belderton, and I had a talk with Bonan Singa, and he asked me, so what is this all about? The elevator pitch was brilliant. He loved it. And then I explained the business model, and he went completely numb. You know, because we don't produce any code, no freemium models, no nothing. We sell basically tickets, merchandising, sponsorship packages, and media rights. And yes, it's scalable, but it's extremely difficult to sell to any investors. So we had to come up, we had to, you know, we had to get really creative on this. And actually, the origins of chess boxing come out of a comic by Enki Bilal, French, Serbian comic author, really like intellectual stuff. And that's where I got the inspiration from. And he toured the world with 15 paintings, and eight of them had chess boxing motives. And they actually sold pretty well, 100,000 each. So I asked Enki, you want to read my business plan? And Enki said, yeah, sure, why not? But he never reads emails, so I called him and he said, no, man, I didn't read the, the, uh, the business plan. I said, okay, Enki, forget it, forget it. You can't sell a business plan to an artist. So I said, Enki, make me a painting. And according to the company valuation and the proceeds of the painting, that's the percent that you get as a silent partner in my company. So that's basically what we did. The lawyers went bollocks on the, on the contract. They said, how should I make a contract like that? I said, it's easy. It's the painting, company valuation, the proceeds, and the percentage as a silent partner. Upon that, Enki said, OK, let's do a fight before we sell the painting. I said, sure, yeah, then we need a ring announcer. And he said, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, a female ring announcer. I said, even better, let's call Charlotte. I said, I said Charlotte Gensburg? No, he said, Charlotte Rampling. And Charlotte Rampling was the Kate Moss of the 60s and 70s. The, you know, she's La Grande Dame du Cinéma. That's actually a painting in the back. And that's Charlotte Rampling, who stood in the ring and announced the fight. A lot of press was actually there. We had 50 photographers. And after the fight, we sold the painting for 171,000 euros. So there was a nice start for the company. And a great story, obviously. Upon this, I met my friend Eric, and I said, Eric, listen. Um, I did this and this and this and this. And Eric always told me, if you have a lead investor, I probably uh, want to join. He probably thought of a different lead investor, but he liked the story so much that he also uh, um, uh, joined us as an investor. He will be upstage in, in any minute, just when I'm finished with the story. So basically, we started working. There's a chess boxing club here in Berlin with over 100 members. I went to India to do um, a seminar for trainers and uh, referees, and I trained 120 chess boxers over there. 
India is the biggest chess boxing organization by far by now. The next year, 5,000 chess boxers will join the fifth Indian Championships. And uh, we're working on uh, professionalizing uh, like a league for India, which is extremely interesting in this emerging market. Some fun pictures from the training. Just three months ago, I visited Iran uh, to see the first Iranian chess boxing championship. I spent two days with the sports minister of Tehran. I tried to negotiate the whole atomic uh, issue, but he wouldn't let me. But he, he gave full support uh, to, um, to the Iranian chess boxing organization, which is actually really interesting, because the public of chess boxing is highly, in, uh, highly intelligent. And I want to bring a fighter from Iran to uh, the European world and fight on the highest level on the, at the World Championship so that he, can, that he can also tell the story where he's from, what Iran is like, because Iran is not what you think it is. It's a beautiful, fun country. It's woman and children loving. Of course, there are some really big problems, but it's, it's definitely not the country uh, uh, what you have in mind. So the next picture doesn't want to come. Ah, there it is. So our business model is basically based on world championships. Uh, this is the world championship in uh, Moscow in 2013. That's where the best fighters fought. It was a German guy. This is the public I just talked about. It's the CEO of Dura and the CEO of Price Waterhouse and Coopers, a fashion designer and a TV uh, uh, presenter. These are people you normally don't see at any fighting sport or you know like. There are hardly any sport events where you see such a high-end high, uh, high -end public. So here, another, and this was the World Championship in the Columbia Hall. It was sold out, was sold out with 1,200 uh, spectators. And actually, Sven Roch, the German guy, won his title. So now where are we? Basically, next step is to, you know, uh, to do the next round of investment. We're going to do a crowd investing campaign on cedars.com. Because like, there are a lot of people who are really into the ID, and uh, we, have a lot, we have a high-end public that is really looking forward to invest into, into the sport because they're already fans. So we're doing a crowd investing campaign, and as I'm a marketing guy, I came up with the following ID. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my comeback on Friday. It's a demonstration fight to get the feeling uh, uh, how it is to be back in the ring again. And in September, so it's an open call for all professional investors. If you, for once, want to earn the one percent, you can fight me over eleven rounds. If you win by checkmate or knockout, you get the percentage of the company for free. If you lose, you will have to pay for it. So if there's anybody out there who thinks he's smart and tough. Come and get your 1%. For all other people that don't want to fight me or are not professional investors, as in Cedars.com, uh, you can invest as little as 10 euro and you get a stake in a company called Chess Boxing Global, which has the rights for the world championships of chess boxing. And um, yeah, only for the smartest and toughest investors. And if you want to see the fights and see my comeback in the ring on Friday, we have a chess boxing event called Intellectual Fight Club. That's basically where the rookies fight. At Platoon, it's a tech open air satellite event. And uh, there's still some tickets left. If you want to come, join us on Friday. Thank you very much. Chess boxing. How do I have a go? Am I big enough? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, but your weight is under. Under 70? I'm like featherweight. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I'm not very smart either. So, um, yeah, chess boxing, Ipa Rubing, everyone. Thanks. No, no, no. Um, okay, so we're, the next talk we've got is basically going to be a head to head. Um, you might even want to introduce them. It's one of your, your friends who you just spoke about. Oh, definitely. So you can. Uh... <laughs> the one and only guy I would never like to fight is Eric Walfors who is an amazing visionary, created an amazing company, and is not only a very good friend, but also um, a huge supporter in everything that I do. Please give a warm applause for Eric Walfors.